Hey everyone, Grow Oregon here. Today's finally grow day. I finally made it to the point where we're actually gonna plant our seeds. So, let's see here. I have my two Nirvana Northern Lights. There's actually five of them in here, but we're only gonna plant two. <clears throat> and so I decided that we're gonna do two different methods to start these seeds. Um, because I already have rapid rooters and that has by far been the most successful for me in terms of starting seeds. I'm gonna do one of them in there in case some of you want to do some rapid rooters. Um, the whole setup costs about 20 bucks. I wanna say it's about $10 for the bag of rapid rooters. And then, you know, maybe another $10 for the tray and uh, dome for it. So in my indoor grows, that's what I've had the most success with is using the rapid rooters. But I did wanna try a new way of just starting it directly into some seed starting soil. Um, because it is actually much cheaper. So if I get good success with this, I'll probably ditch the rapid rooters because that whole bag of soil is only five dollars and I get You know, you probably get way more than the ten dollars worth of uh, uh, Rapid rooters. So let's get started then. Um, we'll do the rapid rooters first. It's by far the easiest and all we're gonna do So you take a rapid rooter out. It's got a little pre-cut hole in the middle of it stuff it into there Oh, if you haven't done so already, also wash your hands. Um, it just gets the oils off of them in case you're touching the seeds. You don't want any of that stuff onto the seed. So wash your hands before you touch these bad boys. Some people even use tweezers to pick it up. I'm not that big, and I don't worry that much about it, but I do at least wash my hands. So you got your one seed. Goes into the one hole. You want to make sure it gets all the way down into the bottom there. And that's basically as complicated as it gets. You take a little edge of it, stuff it in there a little bit, lightly stuff it in so it blocks some of the light out, and then we're gonna just put some water over the top of it. And that's it. Soak it up real good. And she's ready to get going. So we take it, put the dome back onto it, keep the humidity in, close up the vents. We're gonna put this in a warm place. So we'll set this aside for now. Now that we're all done with that one, and we'll do your soil one. So I just took a solo cup. I did drill, you know, uh, a bunch of holes into the bottom of it. If you don't have a drill, you can just use something sharp and you just need drainage in the bottom. So as long as water can come in the top and drain out the bottom, you'll be okay. Um, so the seedling starting mix that I have here is the the black gold one, but it, the Jiffy Pot one is just fine, or the Jiffy one is just fine, the Scots one is just fine. There's a hundred different soil starting or seed starting mixes, and really the difference between the seed starting mix and our final mixture is this is very very light. If you pick it up, it's super light. The roots are going to be able to, you know grow fast and out to the edges, which is exactly what we want. It's gonna hold moisture well, which is what we want. So, filled it up to almost the top, pushed it down a tiny bit, and now we're gonna soak it up with some water. Gently, gently. There's no seed in there yet, but I just wanna start saturating the soil. Because as you can see, if we put the seed in there first and then try to do this, it's gonna flush out and who knows where it's going to end up. So soak the soil first. And then once it starts draining out the bottom, let it drain for a second. Flatten this back out again. So now that I have water in this, I'm going to put it on this, though. Just temporarily, so I don't make a big mess. So, same thing with this. About one knuckle deep. I don't know if you noticed how deep it was in there, but it was, you know, if your fingers are bigger like mine, maybe not do a full knuckle, but I'm going to go down. Punch a hole right in the middle if you can. Go down about a knuckle's worth. And there we go, we got our little seed. And she goes, move it over to the center, and then you're just gonna lightly fill it back up. So you don't wanna put too much, you don't wanna like 
like compact it down because you want the seed to be able to get to the, the surface but it does need to hold moisture around it so now that we got the seed in there I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more water to make sure it's nice and saturated just a tiny tiny bit and there we go that's all it takes I'm gonna take a little bit of saran wrap now this is the worst saran wrap I've ever used in my entire life because the cutter doesn't really cut. But take a little bit of saran wrap, put it on top, pull it around, and all that's going to do is it's going to create the dome just like we have for our rapid readers. And that's it. We're going to take them now and put them somewhere warm, and we're going to keep an eye on them. As soon as that seed starts to spread, starts to sprout above the soil it needs to have light on it immediately so you can um, you can take it and put it under a CFL bulb if you want to move it outside right away put it under cover though so it gets shade most of the time so if you look at my tomato plants and everything out there it's underneath the cover the awning of our our edge there so it doesn't get full direct sunlight but it does still get some some sunlight and that's really uh, that's really about it. We're just going to wait for them to pop and I'll post the next video once they pop above the soil. Uh, I thought I'd just show you where I have them actually sitting. I know this closet stays nice and warm. Um, ideally you want your seeds to be sitting at about 70 to 80 degrees. Um, when it, Honestly you could probably go up to 90. They germinate just fine but you start getting over 90 degrees and if you look at germination rates for seeds they start dwindling off at about 90 degrees. Um, so this is where they're sitting. This is where they're going to stay. We're just going to keep an eye on them every day. Come back in, check on them, make sure that they're still moist. So just touch them. If you still feel water, they're okay. Um, especially the rapid reader, if you're using the rapid reader method, if you start to feel it and it feels dry at all, just put some more water on it. They're really designed so you can't overwater them. Um, the soil, on the other hand, you're only going to put water in that when you touch it and it feels dry. If you touch it and there's still moisture in it, don't water it again. You don't want to drown those little seeds that are in there. So this is it. We'll uh, come back and check on them in a couple days.